All right, here's my IGBT insulated gate bipolar transistor based H bridge circuit operating a motor controlled by an Arduino. This particular design can be cranked up to about probably 200 volts with the parts that I have. And there's variations in this design, but I'll show you around on it and we'll zoom in on the motor. If you if you hear something running like a motor, it's this motor here. Here's an Arduino Nano. This is a speed control. Here are four IGBT transistors. And here are four photovoltaic optocouplers. This is being powered through my, and you saw this in earlier videos, this is being powered through my constant current source, which I use to develop these circuits to keep from causing any damage. All right, let's zoom in a bit on the motor. Hopefully you can see the little LEDs lighting up here based on direction. There's the... Uh, nano and that's just a light bulb across the motor that I was using when I tested it and we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna have to hold the motor because it's going to speed up quite a bit and throw itself around let's zoom in just a little bit more on the motor okay now I'm gonna speed it up And that is that. We'll look at the we'll look at some more material. All right, here's an earlier test. I have a 120 volt light bulb connected instead of the motor, and this is a uh, from a variac through this DC supply board for 120 volts. Notice the meter here, uh, negative 120 volts. The next frame. Again, light bulb is still lit, but the polarity has been reversed. Here's a close-up view of the four IGBTs and their associated uh, photovoltaic optocouplers. Note that these mostly come as surface mount devices, so I had to add them to these little uh, breakout boards. I think I got 25 of them off of eBay for 5 bucks, so they're cheap. This is the input for the 5 volts for the Arduino. This is the input for the uh, motor voltage, or I connect directly, as you see here, for the high voltage. This bus up here has 125 volts on it. Here's a quick view of an IGBT and how it operates. Most of that is on the website. But very briefly, when you get down to it, it's a PNP transistor coupled with an in-channel MOSFET. There are the opposite electrical versions with an NPN and an in-channel. I have not been able to find them. They claim they're out there. I've never seen one, so I'm not concerned with them if they're that hard to find. This is a symbol. Here's the cases they come in. They also come in large industrial blocks. I use this particular one right here. The HR, the H20R1202, 1200 volts and tw at 20 amps. Here is the exact schematic for the opto uh, for the H bridge you saw in the video. I have one correspond corresponding vo photovoltaic optocoupler for each IGBT. When, when these go high or I apply uh, 5 volts to pins 1 and 2, this creates 8 volts between the emitter and gate of the associated IGBT. They're all independently. They can all be independently turned off and on. In the demo with the Arduino, I connected 3 to 2 and 1 to 4 
and switched them on his pairs with IGBT1 and 4 for one direct for one polarity IGB2 and 3 for the other polarity the simple Arduino code is on the web page uh, these work okay for pulse width modulation as you saw with the motor but there are some alternate designs all right here is one alternate design I still have to use because this is high voltage among other reasons I still have to use the photovoltaic optocouplers up here by the way those things this is the IGBT I used this is the photovoltaic optocoupler the VOM 1271 they're about two dollars a piece they put out 8 volts and they have their own internal turnoff circuitry. Nonetheless, down here I have used a couple of high voltage, that's 300 volt collector emitter transistor type optocouplers to drop the voltage to a 5.6K resistor. I can pulse width modulate these two what I call um, low side drivers at a much higher frequency than I can through these. How you do it? Turn this one on then pulse width modulation through this one. One is on, in goes high, then you can pulse width modulate through in four, make sure the other two are turned off as you see there. Another variation of this is here. This is a PC817. It's a, it has an emitter collector breakdown voltage of, I think, 85 volts. In this case, I'm using a 12 volt zener. Actually, that's what I did here too. I'll turn the, I'll turn this on. Generates 12 volts across the gate emitter. Turns it on. Here I, I use the Zener diode dropping resistor to produce 12 volts and then I switch it on the gate of the uh, tr transistor. This is a gate bleeder resistor. You do need that. If you're not using the photovoltaics, you have to use this. And that's pretty well concludes this. And you'll find the Arduino code and so forth on my website at www.bristolwatch.com.